Ooh, rough. Let's see if we can get these off of here. There we go. That one's really hurting. We should be able to get them off with those extractors. They don't look that bad. They're not nuts anymore. They're more round. Yeah. <laughs> kind of what. Then we got to do the other one back here. Yeah. Two more back there, and then uh, we'll start uh, putting on the new white pipe. Let me go show you all the white pipe. Just so you hear what it sounds like. It. There's the old rusty clamp. Thank you, Jeff. And then we're just replacing the whole unit. We'll undo the uh, hanger here, get that old rusty clamp off of there, slide the new one into it, put the new clamp on, and uh, replace the whole Y pipe. So, yep, yeah, Chinesium doesn't last very long. Y pipe. Right here, you need the gasket, which is this gasket right here. And the part number is a 7T4Z9450AA. And that goes on there. This is a pressure fit cone, so you don't have a gasket for that. This is the bracket right here. And this bracket part number is EB5Z5A231A. And that will fit right over this, right here, where the hanging bracket is already welded on. Then we have four nuts to go on there to redo it. And the part number is a W2 or W520414 S441 nut assembly for each because there are four studs that we got to work on right here. So Part number for this Y pipe is a BT4Z5G274B, as you can see. And this is stainless steel, folks. OEM Ford. And that will definitely be better than the Chinesium uh, flex pipe that lasted about 20 months or so. And then it blew out. I'm gonna use the bolt buster on it. 1800 watts of nothing but fire and fury. Nothing stays tight if you warm it up softly. Get it tightened up, we'll get her plugged in and we'll put that over the bolt, or the nut rather, and it should warm it up. Jeff says about 10 seconds it'll be red hot. Maybe not that. Might even be 15. Bad. There we go, bolt buster buddies. Right there. There you go. Warming things up. Wait 10 seconds yet? There we go, that's warm enough for it. Well, it worked, folks. Pound it on, warm it up. It's coming off. Bit right into it. So these extractors do work. Cause this thing is biting the whole way through. There we go. much to bite onto but we bit into it. There we go. And all the rust is hot. There we go. I think we can get her off. It's gonna fight me the whole way. There we go. Look at that. 
Got it off. Now the next one. Well, this is the old Chinesium uh, flex pipe. What do you think? Did it make it? Look at that thing. All rusted out, 20 months of use. Now they all have a little of a, a function problem, as they say. <laughs> but yeah, look at that thing go. It's like a dancing thing at the at the car lot. Anyway, this is the new one that's going on. There we go, folks. Side by side comparison. Old Y pipe, new Y pipe, stainless steel flex pipe. Chinesium flex pipe. Who wants to make a bet that this uh, Ford part outlasts that 20 month old uh, Chinesium? Anyway, you get what you pay for, as they say. Well, if you wanted to know what the cats look like after 168,000 miles or so, I'm going to say they're pretty good shape. Let's check the other one. Can't really quite see in there. Try to get the light in there, but this one's a little bit more difficult. Let me try a different light. There we go. Let me get my light in there. There we go. See? Yep. Those cats are good too for the bank one and bank two are really good shape. So we can't argue with that. They're looking good. The studs are really good shape yet. So I think we're all set. We got this flange here. And I might try to wire wheel that to make it a little bit better seal. Because it's rusty. And then we'll go ahead and start putting on the new I-pipe. And you ended up using a cutoff blade and I cut that bracket off because yeah. Not a fun day. That, uh, that thing's seen better days, but we got a new one. And uh, if you were curious to what happens with the nuts, I ended up using a chisel on this one and a chisel on this one, but the nut extractors worked. Now, what I did do is I got this partially chiseled and then used the, the, used the nut extractor to get that one off. So this one I actually chiseled all the way off and pulled it off with a pair of channel locks. But, yep, that's how it works. We heated them up and we tried to break them free, but there just wasn't enough meat left on the nuts on the uh, bank one exhaust part, so we had to go ahead and go for it with the chisel and the hammer. There we go. Got the new clamp on, got it seated in, hangers on. So we got that on. Now we're going to go ahead and mount the bolts in the uh, gasket and Get her all tightened up. Pretty simple job, really. Fifteen millimeter nuts or a fifteen millimeter socket, and they're uh, one-time use, self-tightening. So that's what the parts guy told me. So we just cinch them up good and tight, and we're done. We gotta do the other one up there. It's hanging down, but. Pretty simple. We're going to go ahead and rebolt everything back up, folks. Pretty much uh, nothing but tightening nuts and bolts. So we'll go ahead and give you an after shot of how quiet it is with a new flex pipe. And the torque specs are ugga dugga, folks, in case you didn't know. If you want to look them up, we're using a ra powered ratchet. Then we'll ugga dug them a bit with a hand ratchet and call it a day. Or you got the bigger ratchet, don't you? Yeah, we'll just get a little bit more. We got the uh, impact ratchet that's going to finish her up. There we go. There 
here we go folks Y pipe is installed everything in place so Jeff's gonna go ahead and start it we're gonna see how much quieter it is There you go, folks. All fixed. Hey, folks. Mac T, and of course, we got this thing fixed. Old Blueberry getting an oil change right now. About 94, 9,400 miles on it, but it runs good. It runs great. Like I said, the biggest part is getting the nuts off the uh, flanges. Uh, be prepared to fight that rust and use a chisel, warm them up, whatever you got to do because they're going to be tough. But uh, anyway, what I want you to do is like, subscribe, join Mac T Ford Edge on MeWe. That's right. And also like, subscribe, and uh, join the Mac T Ford Edge here on this U YouTube channel because, hey, we always do something with the edges. And uh, I got a few other things like TPMS sensors to do. These are the tires off of Herbie. So we're going to go ahead and put new TPMS sensors on them because they failed. And then I'll put them back on Herbie. I just wanted to make one trip. But hey, my feet hit the floor today. I'm having a great day. I want you to have a great day too. And Band of One's got some great music for you. And Mercy Girl, she's always got something to say. Thank you for watching Mac T's videos. And remember to like and subscribe. This is a Mercy Girl production.